the eastern cottontail rabbit may be the cutest animal to make New York City its home. Perhaps it is the large, brown eyes, or the pert ears. Or perhaps the warm brown coat, or that snowball of a tail. The rabbit's appeal may include all the above or perhaps just homespun familiarity. The eastern cottontail has been a fixture since Peter Rabbit hopped out of Beatrix Potter's imagination in a letter to her nanny's sick son in 1893. Other rabbit lovers point to Thornton Budgess's rabbit tales. And those with toddlers in the thrall of Christmas season eagerly revisit Emma Thompson's more recent Christmas tale of Peter Rabbit. With all this textbook anthropomorphism, it is hard to see the real rabbit without imagining his life in a comfy rabbit hole, Natalie dressed in a sensible wool coat and shoes. Real cottontails have shameless publicity to thank for their success at least in part. It has served these urban mammals well for over a century. Raccoons should be so lucky. Of course the reality of a rabbit's life is quite different. The eastern cottontail is truly a homebody, spending its short life in old fields, sheltering under shrubs and thickets of brambles. They are fiercely territorial, and are generally loners until mating, that is, when rabbits earn their other reputation. Eastern cottontails do, in fact, breed like rabbits. They reach breeding maturity in just a few short months and can produce three or four litters during the warmer seasons. Young rabbits are ready to live independently just three weeks after birth, and females waste little time after a litter is born, often mating again well before their young leave the nest. The eastern cottontail, Sylvilagus floridanus, is a North American native, with an enormous range, from southern Canada through Mexico and into northernmost South America. It has benefited from human farming practices, and has even been introduced into several western states, and Europe. The closely related New England cottontail, a seriously threatened near relation, is native to the Hudson Valley, and may once have hopped through the five boroughs, but its narrow preference for young woodlands hastened its decline as New York City evolved. Human development favored the eastern cottontail, with its tolerance for a broader range of habitats. The eastern cottontail is largely crepuscular, preferring to feed in the evenings or early morning hours. Active throughout the winter, cottontails prefer to feed on green leafy plants in summer, but they resort to twigs, vines, and other rougher fare as the seasons change. Signs of nibbling from these mammals during the colder months are often are the first indication that rabbits live in an old field or woodland edge. Potter and Burgess somehow neglected to mention coprophagia in their rabbit stories. Rabbits produce two types of feces, of these, cecotropes, are redevoured in order to maximize nutritional gain from hard to digest vegetable matter. It is likely that these authors recognized that even a well-illustrated afternoon tea of droppings would probably produce poor book sales.